Okay, we're here today to talk about hygiene. Yay! Okay, I need to school a couple of people on how to keep your bodies clean. Because, see, a lot of people don't realize they have hygiene problems. And it is serious. Like, hygiene. Really? Hygiene. Okay. This is for men and women alike. That's all I have to say. Now, first we're going to start with the women. Especially these big booty girls. We're going to talk about them hoes first. See... I'm going to tell you something about having a big booty. It's not all what it's cracked up to be. I'm going to tell you like that. It's not all what it's cracked up to be. Because if you got a nice size booty, you good. But if you got an oversized, big ass, stupid, ghetto booty, it ain't fun. I'm going to tell you now. It's not fun. They hurt your back. And they're not very good with toilet paper. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to be straight up. They're not good with toilet paper. They're not. If you have a big ass booty, you have to use wipes. Me, I have a stupid ass booty. Give a fuck what nobody say about my booty. They could, the hoes could say it's flat. They could say it's wide. They could say whatever fuck they want to say. This motherfucker is big. It's round and it's heavy as fuck. It's mine. I've been toting it for 38 years. It's mine. I know what it is. I know what it does. I know what it looks like. You know, so... Fuck these hoes when they say, you got a booty, look like such and such. Say, you know what? It doesn't matter. Because guess what? My booty was not made by God for you. It was made by God for a man. So, bitch, back up. Get the fuck off my ass. Anyways, besides all that, it takes damn near a whole row of toilet paper just <laughs> to clean that motherfucker. Literally. It is so frustrating sometimes. <laughs> it just sit there and keep wiping your ass and keep wiping your ass and keep wiping your ass. And you're like, I'm not. I'm not going to walk around with shit on me. But some people will. Some people literally walk around with shit on their ass. So that's what we're here to talk about today. Wipes will not cut it. Toilet paper will not cut it. I'm going to tell you something. If you think your ass is clean after you take a shit and you wipe your ass with toilet paper, stick your finger in there and smell it and see how clean that motherfucker really is. Because I'm telling you, it still smells like shit. Straight up. Now, after you have a nice bowel movement, you have to get into the shower. And I'm not talking about one of these two-second in-and-out-ass showers. I'm talking about really in the shower cleaning. When you get the soap, you lather the towel thoroughly with full of soap. And you put it all up in your booty crack. And you scrub it and scrub it and scrub it. Okay, you scrub down each side individually and all up through the middle. And all that little piece at the very top of your butt. That ain't actually in your butt, but at the very top of the butt. Because poop goes up there too sometimes. I'm telling you. I'm literally telling you. This shit really is real out here. This is how you know your ass is officially clean. When after you scrub it out with the towel. You take your finger. And you put your hand back there. And you do the smell test. You don't smell nothing on your hand, you know your ass is completely clean. But if you take a whiff and you still got a stitch on that ass, you need to wash it again with soap until that smell test is officially cleared. It's like the white glove test. If you clean it and you dust it and you tell your kids, go dust that counter. And then they say, mama, I dust it. You get you a white glove and you, if that dust is on that glove, you know they didn't clean that counter very good. But this is the same thing for the butt, except it's a, the smell test. And women, skinny, fat, short, tall, I don't give a fuck what you are. I'm telling you right now, a lot of you women don't know how to clean your pussies. That's why they stink. Nobody wants to smell stinky pussy. I'm going to tell you that. 
your purse. It has strange change in it. You got to get it out. I'm going to tell you how you get it out. When you take in the shower, you standing up. You open up your purse. You open it up. You got slot one, slot two, and then you got the purse part. You insert in the middle, right? We all seen them kind of purses, so that's how your purse is. You got slot one, slot two, and then you got the insert, okay? So, the slots is more important than the insert because the insert, people think the insert is where the smell comes from. No, wrong. The slots is where the smell comes from. A lot of women clean their insert and don't clean their slots. And it makes them have an odor. You may not have it immediately after you get out the shower, but within an hour or two, you go to the bathroom and piss. You're like, damn, I just took a shower. Because you didn't clean your slots, bitch. Clean your slots. Okay? So what I'm going to tell you today is this is how you clean your slots. You open it up with one hand. And you have your towel in another hand. And you wipe down that slot, one side. Open it all the way up. Completely clear one side. Wipe it and wipe it and wipe it until it is clean. Until the rag has nothing left on it. Then you do the other side the same exact way. Remember, this is not the middle of it. This is not where the click is at. This is on the sides of the click where the vagina folds. You know, the vagina is like this. I'm talking about. Each side needs to be cleaned out thoroughly, like that. And then you clean the middle. If you do it like that, you'll never have a smell. Ever, 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 ever. Your pussy would never stink, ever. And as far as big booty girls go, you have to, women with big booties have to understand one thing. If you a hairy woman down there, you like to keep a lot of hair down there. And women who have big booties, they have to constantly wipe. I'm not talking about wiping like tissue. I'm talking about during the day, as you go to the bathroom, when you go home, if you at work all day, you got to go home. You got to hit you gotta hit that girl with a towel. Especially if you got a big booty. Because for some odd reason, when you got a big booty, they just, when you walk in, and then if you got a naturally wet vagina, it just... It's, it's not a pretty thing down there, you know. It can get really ugly down there really quick. If you are naturally wet and you have a big-ass booty, it will get real ugly and real malfunctioning down there. We're not going to say too many things. This is Facebook, so we don't want to say too many inappropriate things. But, you know, we know as women what I mean. And for you men, you ain't off the hook. You ain't off the hook. It's a lot of guys with body odors, especially in the lower part of the body. When you wash, after you shit, you should take a bath or you should take a wash up, straight up. Because when you shit, poops get on your little balls. They call them ball dingles. Yeah, they're nasty. They're disgusting. That's why I don't understand why women suck balls. I'm not doing that. I, no, I'm not putting nobody's nasty, wrinkly things in my mouth. They not. They're not going there. That is not going to happen in this mouth. Never. But I'm telling you, there's nothing worse than a woman being with a man and she like, oh my God, what is that smell? And she do the smell test. That's not me. Where's that smell coming from? <laughs> and you run to the bathroom. Because we women, we are very self-conscious self about our body odor. And so we will run to the bathroom and we'll do the smell test to the bottom. So, hmm, that wasn't me. Where's that smell coming from? There's only two of us in this house. So where is that smell coming from? And you realize it's your boyfriend. Because guess what? He took a shit earlier today. And he didn't take a wash up. And he didn't take a shower. That is disgusting. Disgusting. I don't care if you use wipes. And I don't care if you use toilet paper. They will not make you fresh down there. They're going to make you still going to stink. You're going to smell like shit. All day long. You have to take a shower after you take a shit. Or a good ass wash up. A lathery, lathery soap wash up. Wash your fucking balls. 
Wash them. Wash up underneath them. Wash all in your booty. Make sure you wash it real good and, and, and do the smell test. Do the smell test. It is very important. You don't do the smell test, you will fail. And you will still stink.